Okay, for this project, I am using Sweet Roll. It's by Premier Yarns, and it's just a medium weight, 100% acrylic yarn, but you can use, um, it's just a four ply, you can use any type of four ply yarn that you have. And there are 244 yards per skein, and I use three skeins, so um, probably around 700 yards is what you'll need if you're gonna make it my size. And the color I am using is called Pink Swirl. And I'm going to be using a size J, which is a 6 millimeter crochet hook. And you want to start out with a chain of 25. Now the bean stitch, or the puff stitch, whatever you want to call it, is done in any number as long as it's an odd number. So in case you want to change the size, or make something different with it. But once you get your chain of 25 done, we're going to do the puff stitch and the third stitch from the hook. So we never count the one that's on our hook. So one, two, and three. So we're going to go right into it and draw up a loop. And then we're going to yarn over, go in, draw up a loop. One more time, we'll yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, and you'll have six loops on your hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn over and go through all six loops. Chain one. And that's how you do the bean stitch or the puff. Now we're gonna skip one and we're gonna do it again in the next. So we don't go, we don't yarn over the first time we go through. We just go through it and draw up a loop. And then we yarn over, go through, draw up a loop, and then you yarn over again go through drop a loop so it's a total of three times of going through the stitch and you'll have six loops on your hook yarn over and go through all six and chain one skip one stitch and we'll puff stitch into the next so go into it drop a loop yarn over go in drop a loop yarn over go in drop a loop six loops on your hook yarn over go through all six and chain one so the stitch is really easy skip a stitch puff stitch into the next go in drop a loop yarn over go in drop a loop yarn over go in drop a loop six loops on your hook yarn over go through all six and chain one so that's the pattern we're going to repeat to the end of the chain you skip one and then puff stitch into the next go in drop a loop yarn over go in drop a loop yarn over go in drop a loop and then yarn over and go through all six loops that are on your hook chain one skip a stitch and then puff stitch skip a stitch and puff all the way to the end to make it to the end, you'll have a stitch, you'll have two stitches left here after this puff. You want to go ahead and puff stitch into that last stitch. And then you should have a total of 12 puff stitches across. Just like that. <clears throat> and at the end, you want to go ahead and chain two and turn. That's how you do every row, you chain two and turn. Now it's just kind of a repeat of that row. It's really easy. So what we'll do is we're going to go in. If you Here's your first puff. If you pull it, you'll see that space right there. That's what you need to go into. And that's where you start your first puff. So go in, drop a loop, yarn over, go in, drop a loop, yarn over, go in, drop a loop. Six loops on your hook, yarn over, go through all six, chain one. And then the next one, here's your next puff. If you pull it apart, you'll see that little space right there, that little chain here. That's what you need to go into. Go into it, drop a loop, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over, drop a loop, six loops on your hook, yarn over, go through all six, chain one. Here's your next puff, pull it apart, and you'll see it right there. And that's where you go and make your next puff. Chain one, 
pull them apart. And right there it is. You'll see it once you pull it apart where you need to go. Again. And you just repeat this to the end of the row and you should have 12 puffs again. Coming to the end of this row, I'll show you where you need to put your last puff. Right here, you kind of just pull it out right here on the end and you'll see this space and that's where you need to go. And that's where you do your last puff. And then you chain two at the end and turn. And then you start again. Your first puff goes right there. next puff just pull it apart and you'll see where it goes so this is a really really easy stitch you should always have 12 puffs at the end of your row I always just pull them apart each time and I can see exactly where I need to put my next puff all the way across Okay, when you make it to the end, I'll show you one more time where that last puff needs to go because sometimes it's hard to see. Here's your la last puff from the previous row. If you just kind of grab on right here, this little knot here, it's not really a knot, but it's the chain two. Pull it out and that's where you got to put it, right there. And that'll keep your row nice and even as long as you're always putting that making sure you get that last stitch right and then you chain two and turn and then you repeat and that's what it starts to look like it's real easy and you want to do up total if you want to do it like me of 168 rows so we've done three now getting ready to start four a total of 168 now you can always make yours longer you just need a little bit more yarn than what I said in the beginning because I used about all three skeins of that yarn like I said pretty close to it and you can make it shorter too if you want. That's completely up to you. But if you want to follow me, I did 168 rows. Okay, once you get your 168 rows done, what you want to do is, we're going to start decreasing on the ends so it comes down to a point. I'm going to go ahead and chain two like you normally would. Okay, now I'm going to decrease over the first two puffs and the last two puffs. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go into the first one and draw up a loop and I'm going to yarn over and go into the first one and draw up a loop. Now I'm going to jump to the next one right here and do the same thing. So I'm going to go into it and draw up a loop and I'm going to yarn over, go into it and draw up a loop. Now this time you'll have seven loops on your hook instead of six. On the decreases you're going to have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yarn over, go through all seven, chain one. Now what that did is it took two puffs and made it into one. Now I'm going to work my way across just doing the regular puffs that we've been doing until I get to the last two of the row. So we're only decreasing on the ends. And you make it to the last two puffs of the row, which is this one and the one right over here, kind of where that chain two is, you want to decrease over them. So you go in, drop a loop, yarn over, go into the same one, drop a loop, and then we go into the last one and drop a loop, yarn over, go into the same spot, drop a loop, seven loops on your hook, yarn over, go through all seven. Now we're going to chain two and turn our work. Now this time we're just going to do one 
puff in every stitch across. We're not going to decrease this row. So I'm just going to go into the first one and do my regular puffs. No decreasing this row. We're going to decrease every other row. So just like this. No decreasing. One puff and every stitch across. To get to the end, I just want to show you the decrease puff looks a little bit funny. A little different than the other one, so you want to make sure you're going in the right one. Here, here's the chain two we did. Here's the top of the puff that we need to go into. We don't want to go down here or anything. So it's always going to look like that on the end. Just make sure that you go into that right one there. So I'm just going to do a regular puff there. I'm going to catch my to get out. Then we're going to chain two and turn. Now we're going to do the decreases again. That's where we decrease over the first two and the last two. So we're just going to go into the first one, draw up a loop, yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, then go over to the next one, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw up a loop, seven loops on your hook, go through all seven, chain one. Now we're going to do our normal puffs across until we get to the last two of our row. Okay, then you just, when you make it to your last two, you just want to decrease over the last two. This one, and then this one right here. So, just go in, drop a loop, yarn over, go in, drop a loop, and then we go to the next one. Go in, drop a loop, yarn over, go in, drop a loop, yarn over and go through all seven loops. And now we're going to chain two and turn. Now this time it's just one regular puff in every stitch across, so this won't be no decreases. And here's my last one. <clears throat> Remember to always get the right one. Just find kind of this little knot here. That's, that's not really a knot, but that's the chain two. And it's always right there. And now we're going to chain two. And now we're going to do another decrease row. Where we decrease over the first two and the last two. to the next one. Your number goes through all seven loops and now you just work your regular puffs oops all the way down until you get to your last two and then you decrease over them and you can see the rows are getting smaller eventually we're going to end up to a point. Okay, I'm at my last two here. Decrease over them. Chain two, turn. Now at this time it's just one puff stitch in every or one yeah one puff in every stitch across no decreasing this row
And then my last one, right there. And now we chain two and turn. Now we're gonna do the decreases again. So we decrease over the first two. So this is pretty easy, you probably get the pattern now. And then one puff in every stitch until you get to the last two. Should have two puffs in between. Here's my last two, so I'm gonna decrease over them. And then I'm gonna chain two, turn. Now it's one puff in every stitch. We're about there. Chain two, now we're gonna decrease. You have, I think you have four puffs now, so you'll decrease over the first two and the last two. So it's just kind of decreases now. And go to the next one here. Yarn over, go through all seven, so that's one decrease. And then these two, you decrease over them. So there wasn't any regular puffs in between these. Chain two and turn. Now I'm going to do two regular puffs and these last two here. Like that. Chain two. And I'm going to decrease over this last two puffs here. So you go in, drop a loop, yarn over, go in, drop a loop, go to the next one, do your decrease like that, chain one, and I'm going to pull this up and I'm going to tie this off. So it went down to a nice point, if I can find my scissors. I'll tie this off and then I'm going to flip over the other end and I'm gonna do the same thing on this end <clears throat> once you get that clipped off you can kind of weave that tail in if you want I think I'm actually I might leave it for now in case I need extra for sewing on the pom-pom that's probably what I would do if we don't need it we could sew it in later but I'm gonna leave it for now just in case we need it to sew the pom-pom on but now I'm gonna go to the other end where we started here and I'm going to do that same thing with decreases. So I'm just going to start my yarn. And the first puff here. Should be where I'm going to start it here. I'm actually going to, here's my knot that I started in. I'm going to go right into that little hole where the knot is. I'm going to pull my yarn through. And I'm going to chain two. And now I'm going to go to the first puff and I'm going to do a decrease over the first two puffs. So here's my first one right here. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to try to hide these tails as I go too. So I'm going to drop a loop. Yarn over, go in, drop a loop. And now I'm going to go to the next one. Go in, drop a loop. Yarn over, go in, drop a loop. Seven loops on your hook. Yarn over through all seven. Chain one. And now I'm going to do regular puffs all the way across. 
until I get to the last two puffs. And when you're working across this end, you're actually working on the very beginning base chain. So the stitches that you go into, and they're kind of on top. You'll be able to see them. I mean, they just, they just look a little bit different than the normal ones that we've been going through. But just go ahead and work one regular puff across here until you get to the last two puffs of the row and we'll decrease it. Okay, I'm at the last two, this one, and then this one right here is where that chain two was from before. So go ahead and decrease it just like we did all the other times. And the one my yarn splitting so bad. Now we're going to chain two and turn, and now we're going to do one puff in every stitch across just like we did before so we're just going to do the same thing we did on the other side we're just decreasing every other row so this row is just going to be one puff every stitch across the next row will be decreasing on each end so it's the same as the other end we did i just showed you and you want to keep doing it in that same way until you reach one puff just like we did before so I'm going to go ahead and finish this end out and then I'm going to make a couple big pom poms and tie them on Just remember to always get the right last one here because you don't want to go down and get the wrong one because then it'll be all crooked. But you'll see it if you just look closely. Chain two and turn. Okay, now the next row is a decrease row. Decrease the first two and the last two, and then the next row will be a regular row, and then a decrease row, just like we did before. Okay, I went ahead and made two big pom poms, and you can make them any size that you want. Um, like that and now what I'm gonna do is sew them on the ends I already got this one sewed on I always found it difficult to kind of sew on pom-pom so probably not gonna be the best at it but what I'm gonna do is take my tail here when I made a pom-pom my tie I left it long and I'm gonna use that to sew on the pom-pom and the tail so I'm just gonna grab this tail here but however you make pom-poms is fine. Everybody makes them different. But I'm just going to, I got my tail here. And I'm going to sew it on like onto this last puff thing. So find the top of my pom-pom. And then I kind of go under the string that it's all attached to. And you know what else works really good, and I use it a lot of times when I'm putting pom-poms on after I sew it a couple times. Get it sewed on pretty tight for the best that I can. I'm not really that good at sewing these on. I use some a hot glue, and I squirt some here and then hold it there. And then I know the pom-pom's not going to come off after that. But now I'm just going to sew it to this top one here, back and forth, the best I can. I'm really not good at this part. That's why I use the hot glue. I think I've always used it and it's always worked really good. Because I just don't feel like I can sew it on very tight. So, not like that. Go up under it. And I try not to get none of my pom pom strings in the way. I don't know. 
It's always been really hard for me to do this. But just something like that, or there's, I'm just sewing it on right down here on that last um, puff. But yeah, once you get it sewed on, you could take a low heat hot glue gun. I do it on my hats and stuff that have pom poms. And put a little dab right around it, and then kind of just hold it real tight till it sticks, and then I know it won't come off. Like that, get it all sewed on. Once you get your pom pom sewed on, that's it. That's all there is to it. I still got a few more little tails to hide, but that's it. Super easy. I hope you enjoy my tutorial. So long, I can't really spread it out, but I'll put a picture of it at the end here. Uh, don't forget to tell like and subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to check me out on Facebook where you can post all your crochet items. Um, you can check me out on Etsy and follow me on Pinterest and Twitter. I'll put links to all that stuff below in the description box. And until next time, have a good day.